I just listened to this word yesterday that you released on Esther not too long ago. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, um, last week, it was last week I released the word and the Holy Spirit had really been highlighting the word Esther to me um, just over and over again. Like my, I had trees out the front that we've just moved into this house and we have all myrtle trees and um, Esther's Hebrew name Hadassah means myrtle. And so the Lord began speaking to me because I just noticed all these trees blooming and I'm like, wow, Lord, what are you speaking? And as I began to just kind of look into what he's speaking. I love to search out what it is that he's speaking. And I began to study again, the book of Esther. And he began to take me on this word study of her name, of Haman's name. And it just like hit me really powerfully what the name Haman means. And we all know Haman, the antagonist in the story and how he came against the people of God and he wanted to kill them all. And it's such a similar um, storyline of what we're seeing right now with that spirit of Haman. I believe it's also a spirit of Jezebel, but it's that spirit of Haman that is coming against uh, the children um, in the womb. And the word Haman or the name Haman means multitude of noise and confusion. And as soon as I read that, I was like, oh my gosh. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he goes, Christy, the antidote for Haman is Esther. It's the antidote. She has that anointing. She has that sweet presence of the Holy Spirit. And you know what amazed me is how Esther came before the king. She came before King Ahasuerus and she laid a banquet before him. And I was like, Lord, why did she do that? Why did she lay a banquet? Why didn't she just come before him and just tell him what was happening? Why was it that she had to lay a banquet? And it says she laid three banquets. And the Lord said to me, he goes, Christy, something significant about the Hebrew people is that they celebrate. And she had to celebrate before the victory. And she laid this celebration, this this banquet, what the banquet represents in Hebrew times was this beautiful banquet of celebration. And they would celebrate for days on end. And likewise, Esther laid this banquet before the king, before the victory took place. And I believe that's what the Lord is speaking to us, that he's releasing this mantle, this anointing of Esther upon the body of Christ to begin to arise and look to our king, to go into the courts before him and lay this banquet of celebration like God. Just like we said, Laurie, we see the victory before it's taken place and celebrating in that before it happens. And so I believe right now the Lord is releasing this mantle of Esther upon every son and daughter. It's not just for women, but I believe it will rest powerfully upon individuals as well. And I just, I honestly believe the Lord is moving powerfully. We're seeing so much noise and confusion and chaos, but he's moving and he's moving through his body and he's releasing this mantle of Esther upon his sons and daughters in this hour.